Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV, guys. Today I'm checking out Catholic priest announced he has accepted Islam. Hilary Son Hagi. Guys, I saw this on Facebook and I was like, let me check this out. So, guys, let's get straight into this. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. I'm going to get into this breaking story of a priest slash monk who accepted Islam. This is a quick clip of when he was formerly in the church preaching. It's wonderful to be here. This is my uh, first time visiting the parish here. And this is a short clip of a person I knew him personally describing him from when he was a priest slash monk. Be very grieved over some news that I heard yesterday and confirmed that it's true and it's public information and um, very, very sad and grieved over this because this is in relation to somebody that I know personally and have also um, admired and um, yeah, really sad to see this. So an Eastern Catholic priest and monk uh, just recently became a Muslim, Father Hilarion Hege. Now I want to get into his personal words. This is from an article that he wrote where he says, one simply can't be a priest and a monk publicly and a Muslim privately. And a Muslim is simply one who submits his or her will to the one God, to the creator of the heavens and earth. He said, in order to begin my new life as a Muslim, I felt it important to head back east, to go home to the place where my journey to Islam began. Some 20, get this, 20 years ago in a little Islamic center in a university town in the Rus Belt, Appalachian. He said, a copy of the Quran, the very word of God, on my dashboard leading the way as he's driving to where it all began. And where it all began was somehow a seed was planted, he was given dawah, something happened, and it resonated with him so much so that 20 years later it blossomed and it continued to grow as he relays in his story. So he goes on to say, as a younger middle-aged priest, my life until this point was set. So he's talking about his life is set. He said, I had a promising career as a priest, get this. I was well-liked, well-educated. He said, everything by all accounts was going right. Yet, this is a key point, he says, yet my inner convictions have changed, matured. Perhaps, but a seed planted years ago had blossomed into full bloom. This is deep, brothers and sisters. This is deep, brothers and sisters and people of humanity. How many of us get caught up of worrying about a position, worrying about the certain class of people, you got everything, everything's going right, why do you want to mess it up with Islam? Why would you do that? Because it's the truth, it's the truth. And he was sincere, his heart was open, and he couldn't hold back. And he goes on to say in the article, La, and then you gotta let it out, La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. You could do it right now. La ilaha illallah, there's nothing worthy of worship except the creator of the heavens and earth. And Arabic, Allah, and Muhammad is his messenger. And this would include all the preceding messengers that came before Muhammad, including Abraham, and Moses, and Jesus, peace be upon them all, and Muhammad just being the last and final messenger. That's that, la ilaha illallah. He goes on to say, I had no choice. And he quotes a verse from the Quran, where God Almighty Allah is saying, whoever Allah guides, whoever God Almighty guides. Whoever Allah guides, none can lead astray, and whoever so Allah gives guidance for him, there is no one who can misguide. He goes on to say, it is for this reason that converts to Islam often do not speak so much of conversion as they speak of reversion to Islam. Our pre-mortal faith, a long process of returning, because as we know, the Prophet Muhammad Peace and blessings be upon him. So he said, every child is born on the fifth or the natural way. Islam, of that submission, you are inclining towards worshiping one and only one God, submitting yourself to the creator of heavens and earth. So now you come back to that when you accept Islam. So he quotes this and he says that that's why converts talk about reversion, coming back to the natural state of your human being, uh, being in that total submission to the creator instead of conversion. It's, it's like coming home. He goes on to say, the warmth and hospitality that I've witnessed and received from the Muslim community is simply phenomenal. Never have I experienced such hospitality. Now I know you guys can go ahead and with your experiences, you can see, remember I was sitting with a prominent member of the Gracie family and he also travels to 
the Muslim world there doing seminars and he talks about like many people this hospitality that they feel he says I go to people's home here and you know back he's talking about home where we're at now he says man I, I can't even get them to give me a glass of water <laughs> so uh, people understand when they go and visit the Muslim land visit the Muslims and you'll see the difference just as our brother here is expressing he said I feel a peace a joy, a relief, my pull towards Islam, submission. This is what Islam means, submission to the will of the Creator of Heavens and Earth, a submission to God, the one God. Over 20 years has finally led me home. Now begins my work of entering deeper into the faith, a deeper learning, a love for deen, meaning the way, the way. This is the way of Jesus, the way of Moses, the way of Abraham, the, la the way of the last and final message, Prophet Muhammad. That way of surrendering, submitting, not to your desires, not to a human being, not to angels, saints, nothing in creation but the one God. A love for the Ummah, a love for Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. He said, this is the first of a never-ending journey back to God. Subhanallah. Beautiful. Congratulations to our brother who goes by the name now Saad. Abdul Latif, and whoever can put us in touch with him, please go ahead, get in touch, have him get in touch with us. We love to sit and talk with him and learn more about his story. And for those who are sad, some of the people who've known him from the past, who've expressed some kind of remorse, we sincerely, earnestly ask you to, you know him as a smart, intelligent, likable human being. He's got his mind on right. He's making this decision at putting everything on the line. You got to ask yourself, is there something here? You're not going to know unless you do the same and look into Islam. Sincerely, humbly look into this Islam, read the Quran and go to the deanshow.com. We'll get you one as a gift from us to you. The deanshow.com will send you one and ask the creator of the heavens and the earth alone, earnestly, guide me, guide me, guide me. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this story as much as I have. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum. Guys, okay, this is beautiful. <laughs> but it's true, guys. Like, you've been a monk and you've been a priest converting. Like, to be honest, me personally, I feel I don't believe in the Catholic worship. I don't believe you worshiping Mary is supposed to be a thing. Or you honoring her, adoring her, but I believe she's supposed to be respected and Jesus is the, Jesus is the son of God and God is being one worthy of worship and I believe I worship only one God. I believe I worship only God. I believe I don't associate any other person to him. So guys, tell me what you think about this, guys. Tell me how you felt about this story. For me, I felt he made his research. He find out this is the right path and he took it. So... It is what it is. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.